Okay, it's in uh, Colossians chapter 3, and I'm going to start in verse 1. If ye then be risen with Hamashiach, seek those things which are above, where yeah, Hamashiach sit on the right hand of God. Set your affection on things above, not on things on the earth. All right, and that's what we're doing, laboring this truth. What are you seeking? things from above we're seeking something greater than the fleshly carnal stuff on this earth we ultimately we're seeking the kingdom of heaven and that goes with putting away the things of the flesh followed after you know spiritual things yeah how we shine you know we making our bodies a living sacrifice for our lord yeah we shot all right you know the same way the lord sacrifice for us we're doing that for him and we're doing that in this walk we we putting off our, our the things of the flesh the things that our flesh desires and we're seeking you know the spirit all right let me finish that off okay set your affection on oh verse Verse 2 of Colossians chapter 3. Set your affection on things above, not on things on the earth. Verse 3. For ye are dead, and your life is hid with Hamashiach in God. That's, that's the mind state of a two-third, you know? They are always willing to sell out. You, you can offer Jake uh, one million dollars and he'll sell his whole family out. He get his mom's killed, sacrificed, you know? And, and judgment is waiting for Mike Epps because he even did a skit mocking the prophets of the Lord just as a, a, a so-called Hebrew is like, you know, he, he started singing some song. You remember what song it was he started singing? No, but what I recall is that the skit wasn't funny. Yeah. I didn't find it funny at all. You know, I'm kind of like the, the little brother Ibar in our camp, the leader of our camp. You know, he's more funnier in the movies than he is, you know, in concert. Yeah, because I didn't see... I found no humor in nothing he did. That, that skit at all, man. Just it was just really stupid. You know? Plus he was mocking the men of the Lord. Of course. You know, that's your warning. You know? That's the I was shy having his hands stretched out to you. And you mocking the, the men that's out here. You know, he gonna have great judgment. You know, don't be surprised if you see him car wreck or overdosing on some drugs or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And you know the Lord has you know he has he has had 
Well, he have had big hits on rappers and celebrities the past four years at an all-time high. Which he, the Lord been sent judgment down on these celebs, but since 2020, 2019, these celebs been dying left and right. Whether it be gun violence or overdosing or crashes from um, the, you know, vehicle crashes like Kobe Bryant. Or, or, you know, getting that, that, um... Maxine. <laughs> well, you gonna get us flagged. Good, good, I would've him. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> that too, dropping dead? Yeah. And best believe he got uh, probably two or three of them, so... Mm -hmm. Especially the video he had mocking the men of the Lord, so it's time. Right. Yeah, I mean it's, it's it's kind of a warning. And you know what though? It, it, you know it's beautiful because I, I was looking at that video last night. And that that's spiritual, bro. That's that shows you that the Lord is working with us right there because you brought that up. And I saw that video last night by uh, Ibar. He he did a video about that. And um, you know, I thought about it just to think about it in a deeper perspective. It goes beyond Mike Epps. He, he sat there and he said, hey, look, I know y'all seen me on movies, but guess what? I need money. You know, basically he's saying I need, I'm, you know, I'm broke, I need money. So he's ready to do whatever. How much more so in our own personal lives with the people that, that uh, we deal with on an everyday basis, you know? So it's something to kind of keep in mind, you know, that we, we, we be circumspect in our own, you know, in our own personal uh, journey that we're on, you know, that, that you how about shimmy, how shot got, got us on because, you know, we could, we could uh, be betrayed at any time, you know. With, uh, I'm pretty sure you saw that. That uh, I can't think of that, that Edomite's name. The one that uh, he's always coming with the stuff. He's, I mean, you know, he's always telling you stuff that uh, he got sued here a while back. But he said himself when, when, when uh, that time comes when everything is shut down, that he's going to be looking to eat his neighbors. So, oh, who's that guy's name? Uh, I can't think of his name. Kind of a heavy set eater, Mike, but you know what you're saying, bro. Uh, he's real popular. Because, like I say, he's one of those guys that, you know, that, that kind of tells you what's really going on behind the scenes. He got sued for millions of dollars here a while back. But he, he said it himself that he would, you know, he's willing to uh, do that. And, you know, he's the wicked. And our people are even more wicked than the wicked right now so how much more with them you know with, with the two-thirds of, of jay Lil Lucy said it. yeah 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 you, yeah you know what you brought that out with 20 what did i come up come i, I came here for 21 22 man time going by so fast but <laughs> but yeah man you you brought that out i think last year you know so Last year, year four last, so how much more, man? You know? My uncle said he'll eat me. Yeah. I brought that out of the Yeah, he so did. He so did. You know, yeah, I can say the scriptures tell you that the, the you know, the, uh, that the two thirds are more wicked than, than the wicked themselves. You know, and we know Esau's known to be the wicked. So they have surpassed it, so how much more with them?
when Hamashiach, who is who is our light, shall appear, then shall ye also appear with him in glory. Yeah, so our lives belong to, you know, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah. You know? Yeah. Making it out of this world and being joined heirs with That's 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 what we should be striving for is that crown, you know, that eternal glory. These other people, they they're looking for this this glory here, you know, to to be known. To, to Jake loves to make a name among other Jakes, you know, but we're, we're striving for something way bigger and, and, and spiritual, you know. This is Matthew Matthew nineteen and twenty seven. Then answered Peter and said unto him, Behold, we have forsaken all and followed thee. What shall we have? Yeah. Never fail. We have forsaken all and have followed. Uh, Matthew 19 and 27. Then answered Peter and said unto him, Behold, we have forsaken all and followed thee. What shall we have? Therefore, so that's representing us. We forsaken this life and we're following after Yahweh Shai. So, and Peter asked Yahweh Shai that, and he said, Matthew 19 and 28, and Yahweh Shai said unto them, Verily I say unto you, that ye which have followed me in, regener in the regeneration, when the Son of Man shall sit on the throne, on the throne, when the Son of Man shall sit in the throne of his glory, ye also shall sit upon twelve thrones, judging the twelve tribes of Israel. So, we're going to be ruling with our Lord Yahweh Shai for, you know, ultimately for the works that we're doing now. Following Yahweh Shai, when he come back, we're going to get that reward to be able to rule with them. Judging the 12th tribe to Israel. That's that governor body. Alright. With um, Yahweh being the head. So that's the reward of our labors. That's the reward of our labor. Hey, in the, in the back that up. Uh, I got a scripture here. Okay, uh, Matthew 6, and I'm starting in verse 19. Lay not up for yourselves treasures upon the earth, where moth and rust do corrupt and where thieves break through and steal verse 20 but lay up for yourselves treasure in heaven where neither moth nor rust do it corrupt so and, we don't lay up our treasures on this earth you know carnal things carnal riches money with what jake worship benjamin franklin and all these dead Edomites on this cotton made dollar that, sh that, your, that your ancestors slave be picking and these Edomites that own s slaves and sex slaves and here it is, Jake got them idolized, got them tatted on their body, you know, you know you see our people with Benjamin Franklin tatted on their face and neck and arms a big chain with his, with, with his head on it. Ultimately, you know, the same you might have had you in captivity not too long ago. Yeah. You know, so we don't store up riches, money, and jewelry, and cars, and think about making it living here forever. Because it's only temporary. And Esau can take all that back if he wants. If, 
if he want. You know, he, you can own a house, you still gotta pay taxes on the house. You know, you could lose your car, your house at any moment, your tires. You you be paying on some tires and be late and you know, get out from your job, your tires sitting on center blocks. Yeah. Or you, your your house, jewelry, they could take your jewelry back. Alright, so you don't own nothing here. Yeah. Your kids get indoctrinated at school. Yeah, uh, uh, yeah, it made me think of a song by uh, Jay-Z, one of his hits was, uh, I think it's the title, I forgot how it went, but he basically was saying he's looking out for presidents to represent him. Not realizing that those presidents, which are on the bill, all were, were slaves. All of them were slave owners, you know? So... This is what a lot of these wicked jakes they look look to, you know. Where we are, we look for your know, outsider to uh, uh, to to represent us. We don't want to be represented by some, you know, by some Edomites that don't care nothing about our people. You know, they were created to be the wicked. That's how your know, how about sharing your set it up. You got that that song Nelly made. Um Vividly, bro, vividly. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, so that's that's a mind state. These high elites of Israelites that our people idolize, mm -hmm. they look up to these rich billionaire Edomites mm -hmm. like Bill Gates, Donald Trump. Rothschilds and Rockefellers, yeah. Bill Gates, yeah. you know, because, you know, they natural born sodomites. They they don't want that manly appearance. Well, so. you, you know, it's, it's uh, like you had told me when I first came in camp that, that you know, a, a beard is a, a you it's know, a badge of honor. there you go. You know, the water for, the, for saying that, yeah. So, you know, it's part of our, 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 our heritage, you know, part of our customs. We want to get back to, to the Heavenly Father and, and be, you know, back how we were, you know, in his image, you know. He has a beard. We should be wearing a beard, you know. Wear a beard to the best of our ability, however it is, you know. You know, and uh, the Lord compares us to lions, especially Judah. And lions have beards, the manes, you know, so we... Supposed to have that, and the yeah. dude who said that was a Judite, yeah. and he trying to look like a, a Edomite. Yeah. Well, what sense does that make? You know, that, that's the confusion of, of uh, Babylon the Great, man. Right? You know. Um, well, I'm gonna go back here and go in the uh, verse 20 of uh, Matthew 6. Yeah. Okay, verse 20. But lay up for yourselves treasure in heaven, where neither moth nor rust doeth corrupt, and where thieves do not break through nor steal. Verse 21. For where your treasure is, there's will there will your heart be also. Yeah, so if our, our minds is, is, is on this this truth of knowledge, applying it to the best of our abilities as well as trying to uh, stay up under the laws, you know. Prayer, fasting, doing videos, coming out here with the beloved brother. You know, this is what this is about. This is the part of our life, man. We don't care about what other people think. You know, we don't care, you know, because the scriptures say we, we're out here to be uh, made as a spectacle. We don't care about all that, man, because we're thinking about things that, that are higher, on a higher level, you know? Think about eternity, man. Yeah. Being on yeah, top yeah. of ever. Yeah. Being praised forever yeah. you know these these israelites now they got it temporary and it's through wickedness exactly. and they they're not going to be remembered they're going to be normal people in the kingdom 
Chris Brown is going to be a normal man in the kingdom. You know? And he's not going to be remembered for it. All them songs he put out when he was a young teenager. You know, Chris Brown is going to be a normal, everyday civilian Jake in the kingdom. Exactly. Michael Jackson, James Brown, Bobby Brown, you yeah. know? Okay. All these guys, they're going to be normal Israelites in the kingdom. And all they works talent that they had is going to mm -hmm. be forgotten mm -hmm. and what's going to be remembered is us and what we're doing now the yeah. men of the lord yeah. Yeah. and getting back to 24 and 13 oh. you know if we keep enduring lord willing we'll be those men because yeah. this race is about completing not you know starting it and being in it a long time it's about competing it, completing it think about marathon runners you know they be running forever literally the long, how long they be running? Hours. Hours. But even it, obviously the person who finished first gets you know glorified. But yeah. ultimately, it's a, it's about you know finishing the race. Because if you don't finish it at all, then you won't be known as a quitter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Second Corinthians four and eighteen. While we look not at the things which are seen, but at the things which are not seen. For the things which are seen are temporal. So the stuff of this world is temporal. Rappers, entertainment business, athletes, the Super Bowl trophies, NBA trophies, yeah, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah. That's what gets glorified. Yeah. We just had the Super Bowl pass, now it's about to be the NBA. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. NBA, uh, Grammys, VMAs, yeah. shoot, whatever else, yeah, yeah. the Olympics, uh, yeah, yeah, all that. boxing, yeah. world champions, you know, yeah, all of that yeah. stuff, yeah. being a top influencer, all of that stuff do, does not matter. The Lord don't care about that. Yeah. So-called uh, guys, you know, these Jakes a lot of times, which, you know, Jake is the salt of the earth, so he, a lot of times he sets these trends, you know? So, uh, you know, all that stuff is, is, is momentary. TikTok. You know? you <laughs> TikTok. Yeah, stuff like that, you know? All that stuff is folly, right? Yeah, it, it, it really is, you know? I mean, you know, the, 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 you know, we, you know, brothers have TikTok or whatever, but you know, it's what he say, uh, uh, we, we, we do what we do. A lot of times, brothers make make a lot of uh, lessons off of a lot of those things off TikTok. You know, so you know we do, we use it to our advantage. You know, brothers, us brothers. You know, when I want to prove myself, I don't have one. You got TikTok, so I know you you done made several lessons just off TikTok alone. You know what I mean? You got brothers on TikTok. Yeah, I mean, yeah. That's how the word. To, that's how you can use the word to you know get the word out there. You know what I'm saying? That's a beautiful way to get the word out. I don't even post on it. What I do, I just look through it. And yeah. there's a lot of edification on it, too. There you go. You know, and there, um, the brother from, the elder from GMS Chicago, the Rubenite, he, he be making lessons on there. Yeah. There's a lot of brothers making lessons on TikTok. Yeah. And, yeah. I, you know, what I was going to say, you, you, I'm sure you have made lessons off of it just by looking at some of the folly that's on there. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. yeah I have. I yeah, have. I know you have, bro. You know what I'm saying? I mean, because you good with that stuff. You know what I mean? I actually have. Yeah. So, I mean, you know, we, we, we take that stuff, a lot of that stuff, and we, you know, brothers that, that can do that, they take it and make it to their advantage. You know, and, and you're one of those brothers, man. You make it to your advantage, you know, to where you can. You know, make a lesson out of that. That's beautiful. You know, and another good source to get um, videos on is Twitter, because there's a lot of stuff on Twitter. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna do a one on this one Judite woman. Man, she's a complete demon. She was just wow. and woman, and she was acting like a man on top of that, bro. Mm -hmm. You know, her kid, her son was acting up in school, and she went there and just completely humiliate him. Over masculated. I don't know why, but whatever. Do a video on that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know what? As a matter of fact, now that you mentioned it, that's something on, on, on our, uh, you know, and YouTube's another one. I mean, me personally, I, I do YouTube, so I, I, I'm always on constantly on YouTube. So I, I can get lessons off YouTube a lot of times. And, and, and uh, 
A lot of times there are shorts that be on there. Matter of fact, there's one, this Edomite guy, he was talking about this big old Edomite woman, man. She she messed around and, and, and uh, she got this Jake locked up for no reason, man. Come to find out he had no priors. He had never been in any kind of trouble. But she said that he sexually assaulted him. I know, she was except sexually assaulted, you know? So, you know, things like that, and she lied, man. You know what I'm saying? So, that, that'd be a good lesson right there. You know what I'm saying? It, it wasn't just him, it was some more other guys. And come to find out when the, the, uh, the laws did the research, none of the stuff was factual, you know? So it just shows you how wicked, you know, these women are, man. That's why the scripture says no wickedness like the wickedness of a woman, man. That, that is really wicked, man, to sit there and lie on someone to where they, they basically, you know, uh, uh, get locked, you know, locked up for something that he didn't do. Yeah, that's, that's the world we live in, man, you know. But, but yeah, we can take these different things that we're on, you know, and, and make videos off of it and, you know, use it to our advantage, man. What does the scripture say? Uh, uh, be in the world but not of the world, you know? So, yeah, we we, we, we take things and, we, you know, make it to the advantage for y'all by sharing y'all the shot, man, you know? Read that, man, that scripture you have. Okay. 2 Corinthians 4 and 18. While we look not at the things which are seen, but at the things which are not seen. For the things which are seen are temporal, but the things which are not seen are eternal. Things are not seen are eternal. Yeah. And that's the stuff that the Lord promised us, you know? The, the everlasting rulership, the things that we're going to get for the work of our labor is our reward. That's what's not seen, you know? And we believe we're going to get that through faith. You know? Like, uh, faith without works is dead. We're showing our faith by our works that we believe that um, Yahweh Shah is going to come back and deliver. We believe that. scripture says I have not seen nor heard you know yeah now let me just back another scripture up here it's got a second of me Matthew 16 and 25 for whosoever shall who, no, let me start again. whosoever will save his life shall lose it you got niggas that's gonna be seeking to save their life they're gonna be trying to they're gonna be running to that um that see him when it be brought out. And it's already out. You know, Elon Musk already then put the first rain see hip in someone's head. Yeah. So niggas, whenever they bring out that see hip and say you want to go back to a regular life, you need to uh, take this, niggas gonna be running. Yeah. Just to get food, water, mm -hmm. just to get that normal comfort that they once had in, in this before all hell broke loose. Yeah. You no, know, they're gonna be seeking the way the world was before 2020, yeah. you know? So niggas are gonna be seeking to save their life. Mm -hmm. Their job, their cars, the house, families, all that. Yeah, I mean, that you know, and the thing about it, you know, that was a great example of, 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 of how things gonna work, work, you know what I'm saying? But how much more, when, when that time happens, it's gonna be much worse than it was back then because you know, most of these people are comfortable. They're, 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 they're set in in, in, in uh, folly, foolishness, and uh, party and, and BS. You know, that's that's what you know. That's what what Jake and, and most of these other nations out here. That's what they're all about, man. They love that you know that folly, man. That that fun, you know. Fun, you know. It's a time and place for everything. Mm -hmm. like the scripture says. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Jay just want to have fun. Yeah. Like that song, girls just want to yeah, have fun. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Especially this woman, they just want to have fun. Yeah, no yeah. consequences suffered. No, I mean, you know, if you think about it, we, we're in this, this this place where it accommodates the, the woman. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you know, uh, Esau pushes the, uh, 
that, that queen of heaven spirit. You know, this is one of the reasons, another reason why a lot of times you you have these uh, these drive-throughs and stuff. You know what I'm saying? Because they make it convenient for for Eve to to go and and, and go buy food three times a day. Cause they ain't gonna cook. <laughs> no, they can't cook. Hey, no, can't cook. A lot of them can't even boil water, man. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I mean, when I was coming up, I mean, girls used to would start learning or, or would want to be in the kitchen as early as five to six years old. You know what I'm saying? Now, man, they 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 happy with getting a happy meal. You know. Uh, uh, you know, or they mama just taking them to some drive through random drive through two or three times a day, you know, or more, because they're not gonna cook, man. That mama don't wanna cook, they don't wanna cook. You know, and it shows you that this generation is very, you know, is is deteriorating, man. That's why we need your how about Chevy, how about man. And we hoping to get that salvation. That's why we out here doing the work. And Jake has been indoctrinated. Even the, the the generation class of your era, like you're in your 50s, even Jake, your age and older, has been indoctrinated. And there, there was this um, yesterday testimony. There was this older woman. She looked like she was about 90. And she was talking to my dad about how the world is now and how a man not supposed to have long hair and you know, men not supposed to wear dresses and skirts and the woman I'm supposed to wear and what men wear and she was saying uh, she can't believe how how things how they what she be seeing basically because yeah. she not used to that you know yeah. in her era probably the I'll say the 30s 30s maybe late 20s 30s she saw what did Jake what was Jake wearing they was wearing suits suits, suits, suits and hats. hats yeah they was um, I mean, they was show off man Jake spenders, was show off, man. Freaking alligator shoes. They wasn't, yeah, one thing about Jake, Jake wasn't sagging, man. You know what I'm saying? Jake was not sagging. That that, that era came in. 90s. Yeah. Early 80s. I mean, late 80s, early 90s. I, I you know, I, I know about that era. You know, so. There were still niggas and wicked Jakes, but they dressed like men. Mm -hmm. And then a woman mm -hmm. wore dresses. Yeah. Dresses, yeah. long socks, cover yeah. up their skin. Yeah. So, and. She handed him a, a paper full of precepts, and then he gonna give me the paper. First he, <laughs> first he caught the paper shit. He didn't realize it was precepts on the paper. Mm -hmm. I don't believe, but he caught the paper shit. He was like, here, yeah, you can get this shit. And then he was like, uh, that woman crazy. She talking crazy. Um, she act like she never seen, uh, like, you know, a man wearing a dress or a woman dressed like a, a man of dyke basically then he was like she she weird she was just weird and i'm like how the hell is she weird you know and that shows you yeah so yeah hey, you know what that that goes back up what you said about because i'm i'm in that age group of, of your father so <laughs> he, he <laughs> you a know little what i'm older. saying yeah he, he a little older but i mean we pretty much in that same direct uh, uh generation because um our generation is is from 1965 up to about 1980. That was the year my brother was born. So that's the uh, I forgot they call it the Generation X because the the generation from 46 is basically the baby boomers. 46 to about 64, 65 is the baby baby boomers. You know what I'm saying? So you know a lot of it started with the with the baby boomers. You know what I'm saying? Uh, that's that's the those who who uh, once uh, World War II ended in 1945. A lot of those, a lot of the, uh, a lot of that stuff got introduced. You know, and, and they and, and they were they were because uh, most 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 of those Jakes at that time are, are uh, liberal. You know, and they 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 had that 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 flower power mindset. You know, you know. Peace, love, you know, and all that kind of stuff, you know. Jake has been indoctrinated. Exactly. Even, um, you know, now they, they even force Israelites to accept that, you know, that that uh, T agenda and, yeah, yeah. you know, the yeah. Sado agenda. Yeah. 
so and so much like if you talk against it you get demonized so yeah. jake is indoctrinated so they yeah. they got that spirit of if they not bothering me then i'm okay with it yeah, yeah. they got that yeah. spirit I, I, and I'll tell you another thing about Jake too. See, they'll, they'll you know, they're, they're basically, like you said, indoctrinated under that spell that, that you know, that's over America, man, to accept all this, you know, because back in the day, you know, those, those older Jakes, they didn't like all that, man. They wasn't for all that, man. And he grew up in that era, so how yeah. is she yeah. weird yeah. speaking against it? Yeah. And she like 90 something. Yeah. I'm like, yeah. How was she weird? Yeah, I mean, but 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 that's that. But, but see, when you're under that spell of, of Esau, he makes you more tolerable to accept those things. We we've all been at one time before we came into this truth and knowledge, uh, 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 not all the way indoctrinated into it, but to some things we did accept. You know, we we thought it was okay that that women, you know, even though we knew something wasn't right about that, you know about the order and all that. We knew something wasn't right for a woman just to go off on you, you know. A lot of Jake was out the head of Well that too. But but then I'll tell you another one. What's that old saying? Me and you have talked about this in camp. Happy wife, happy life. You know? So Jake Jake's still falling under that that that, that spell. Uh, uh I got a there's a a Jake that uh I went to school with his son. And he's kind of like that. His his wife is kind of like a controlling type of woman, man. You know what I'm saying? And he's he's probably about 70 years old. He's still working, and, and all he talks about is he, he's not trying to make his wife upset. You know, I ought to make sure the old lady all right. This is that and other. Like you know, just like you live your life just to please her. And at the end of the day, you still not pleasing because she's still gonna be unhappy and miserable because she's miserable inside. She's not even happy with her own self. Norbert and Respution. There you go. You, know. you should tell him to go watch Norbert. <laughs> I mean, you know, I mean, that's what he is. He, he has a, a, you know, Jake. The thing about this this society is made Jake be more passive and more tolerable to a lot of wicked, a lot of wickedness. You know. Tell him to get his passport and go to the Philippines. Yeah, and, well, he should. And relax, you know, for about but, six months. Come He's back. not gonna do that, you know. Uh, uh, you know what? That's funny. You brought that up because uh, there was a guy I listened to every now and then. I can't think of his name. I'll probably think of it later on after we get we get through. But uh, he was saying, man. He said when I went to uh, when I went to some one country he went to. He said, man, I was losing weight. I was eating the food. He said, man, I was losing weight, and I wasn't even trying to lose weight. You know, so. You know, over there, those women, they cook. These women over here, they don't cook, man. They, they, they you know, hey, I want to go eat. Which back in the day, like I say, when we was coming up, my mom, she cooked every day. We cooked, you know, like now, you know, there were times, you know, that uh, we would go out to eat and that would probably be maybe on a Friday or maybe a Saturday. But for the most part, we, you know, or sometimes like on Friday she would make something simple like a hamburger or we'd eat chili dogs or something which back then you know Jake loves stuff like that you know what I'm saying so I'm like oh yeah cool you know but uh the other days throughout the week and on sun Sundays through Thursdays or whatever my mom cooked, they cooked nice meals you know what I'm saying but these women they did nowadays they don't do stuff like that man it, it, it's always going out to eat you know and then thing about it Jake's accepted, and, and he is uh, spending a lot of his money going through the drive-through, buying food because he know his wife ain't gonna cook. <laughs> Real talk, bro. You, you know that. You, I mean, I'm sure you know. You know somebody, or maybe you been in that situation where you can relate to what I'm talking about. So I mean, it's, it, it's how it is, man. Especially if if, if uh, the wife has a job. Whereas back in the day, these women had jobs and they still cook. You know, it didn't matter. That was time my mama had a job and we, you know, she still cooked and made sure we had, you know, breakfast and, you know, you know. But it's like what Elder Apostle Tahar said. He said, "Man, in my generation, I, uh, my mother and my grandmother, they cooked breakfast, lunch, and dinner." 
Now these women there, you tell them to do something like that, they they think you you I don't know how I, you help me out, but they think you Time to jump off a bridge or something. Oh yeah, <laughs> you know, it's like but, you you asking them something way way over their heads, man. But they'll serve uh, their boss a, a cup of coffee. They'll do whatever their boss tell them to do, bro. But they'll say, um, my boss giving me money. What are you doing? Yeah, you know, because they they see us, they they easy to get with Esau because they Esau in power. Mm -hmm. They see us as powerless. Yeah, and they know it. They know that. They women are, are, are attracted to power, man. That, that's that's why things are the way we, they are, and that's why we need to have our shit have all the more reason because we can't turn this thing around, you know. Even even the uh, the so-called Jake that that has money a lot of time, he's catching hell too, you know, from his his old lady, as they say. So. You know, we need your how about showing your how shot, man, because they 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 the only ones that's gonna be able to turn this this thing completely around. That's why when Jacob trouble come, all that feminism stuff is gonna be out the door, bro. Yeah, you see the movies with J Jennifer Lopez climbing mountains and beating up two hundred pound grown men, yeah, them yeah, on the ground. Yeah, yeah. All that stuff is. Uh, yeah, or uh, I I tell you another show I watch. Uh, I, I watch. Uh, Chicago PD and these, these two Jake women, I mean not Jake women, but they Edomites and, and they, they make them out to be real tough women, you know, they, they fighting guys and they beating them up and all this kind of stuff, you know what I'm saying? And he's like, man, really man, ain't no way, you know, ain't no way. But, you know, that's that's what they, that's the perception they want to put on on these women, you know, really gassing them up, you know, setting them up for failure. Cause when that real time of Jacob's trouble come, all oh, that's gonna be out the door, man. They're gonna get back into their right, you know, in their rightful uh, 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 position. You think about some of these studs out here, <laughs> you know, some of these women out here, man. They, they, man, I'm telling you, they, man, a lot of them gonna forget all about all that, that life, man, for real. That's that. Old. Does she can go out the window? Next thing you know, some some hit the fan. They'll be talking like a, a nigga. Some hit the fan. You gonna hear a loud pitch scream? Exactly, exactly, bro. I mean, like I say, it, it takes you how about shit, you how shy to, to bring that. We can't do it. We don't have the power. This is why we out here doing what we doing ah. now. Cause we we're, we're disgusted at, at, at this life, man. We're disgusted at. at, at living you know being a part of this life man knowing that everything is completely out of order in babylon the great which is known as the land of confusion man confusion man yeah this is this is total confusion to be living here and a woman's telling the man what to do you know and when you start being blessed and the lord blesses you your how about shim your house shot gives you this truth and knowledge man it, 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 it thoroughly disgusts you because even before you came into it you knew something wasn't right for a woman to be telling a man what to do you knew something wasn't right but you needed your how about shimmy how a shot to show you through the scriptures why it wasn't right you know yeah go watch them clothes niggas yeah yeah <laughs> you know all this kind of stuff oh, man, man. You're like hold on look, look. Why is she acting like this? And you know, somebody, you know, Jake knows it ain't right in the spirit, but I mean, he, he, like I say, the Lord still got him blinded, so he, you know. And then you know, something you got some Jakes is just totally blinded because they, they been raised, you know, totally by their they mom. You know, me and you, we've been blessed. We, we see the dynamics. You know, you've been raised by your parents. I've been raised by my parents, so we see dyna the dynamics of that stuff. But there's a lot of Jakes out here, they've been raised just by their mama, so that's what created those Kooky and Ray Rays, man. You know? These these uh GMO baby. Hey, you know some uh uh you know some of these Jakes wearing this old silly hat on their head here lately? What hat? I don't know. I need to take a I should take a picture of that, that Jake. I don't know, it looked like it's something a woman would wear. Like a damn like a damn near like a shower cap on the head, man. But it's not really a shower cap, but a bonnet? I can't even say it's a bonnet. I had to take a picture of the Is it a turban? It's like wrapped around? 
I don't even know if it's a turban, bro. It's like something a woman would be wearing on the head, bro. I put it like that, man. And I seen this this, this GMO dude, tall, real skinny, like like El Apostle Recall always say, the beloved brother. <laughs> and I was like, man, this brother be, he be, man, he, he, I tell you, that, that brother right there, he hits it. He's a boxer, but boy, he, he he got a good punch when it comes to this truth of mouth because he hits everything right on the button. You, everything you be thinking, I'm like, damn, that, you know, you, you know, like we always say with you, Taj, you, you say things, you're like, dang, Taj, you was right. I, you know, but you bring it out before we do, and we like, whoa, you're right. I was thinking the same thing. Well, he's the same way, man. He And he does it in the spirit, man. It's like, damn, I was thinking the same thing, you know. Is that other possible huh? Yeah, you oh, know, he just, he, 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 he say things and you're like, you know, through the spirit, you know, it's through the spirit because he, you know, his brothers are heavily under the spirit of Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah, the very spiritual brothers, but, and, and, and those brothers just bring out things and he says stuff and you're like, dang, you, you know what, I can relate to that, i seen that, you know, you know, you can see a lot of these Big Shirley's and, you know, that's what he was saying, Big Shirley has a, a wicked spirit on him, man, you know. Look at Rasputian. You just brought her up real wild. Look at her. She had a very wicked spirit on her, bro. Matter of fact, that movie was on here a couple of weeks ago. So, I mean, you know, it, it's like, man, she got a real wicked spirit on her. But that's, that's you know, and that's really, that's really, you know, our women's. You know, that that's really the two-thirds of, of, of the women of, of uh, Israel. A lot of them are overweight. All that damn body weight is evil spirits. Yeah, that you know what that's the you know I remember Elder Pastor Gabar bringing it out saying that that that's a curse to be over for a woman to be overweight like that you know so yeah man you know and and, and, it, and it puts a lot of wicked spirits on it. and you you ever think about it, the majority of those uh, big Shirley's out there have a very wicked spirit on them, you know which they probably. Part of, part of it is probably because they they don't like how they look. They're miserable inside, you know, and they spread that misery upon other people, you know. Nah. <laughs> Get the uh, spread your next piece of evil. Yeah. Rich Charlie and Keisha. I think I finished that scripture. Did I finish that scripture of, of Matthew 16 25? Read it back. Okay. Well, uh, Matthew 16 25. Whosoever will, will save his life shall lose it, and whosoever will lose his life for my sake shall find it. So we're losing it. We're sacrificing our lives to do this. This is a Saturday. Jake is out having fun on Saturdays, clubbing. Yeah. Getting his haircut, getting them lined. <laughs> yeah, trying to impress the woman. Yeah. And she's still going to hate you. You know? Yeah. <laughs> you know, so we give our life up for this truth. Mm -hmm. So we we give all that up. Are you still recording? Yeah, you're good. To good. seek Yahweh by Shim Yahweh Shine. Yeah. You know? We don't care about losing our life. Mm -hmm. Some of us want to lose our life. Like the scripture says, but we're gonna gain everything all back. Yeah. Yeah, you know, like the scriptures tell you that that those who give up, you know, who, who die as martyrs, they're they're gonna be they'll be the first to be be on those chariots. You know, they'll be the first ones on them chariots, man. So and y'all are the Levite. Yeah. Hopefully we'll see them on that. Yeah, chariot. Lord willing, I, I love to beat that brother. You know what I'm saying? As well as my other favorite. You know, fellow brothers, Lord willing, I'm a part of that, and you a part of that, you know what I'm saying? This is why we do what we do, man. You know, come out here, preach this truth and knowledge. And if these people listen, that's fine, because we love to teach. We love to, you know, it's like that day when, when uh, this old bug guy, Jake, came out. You know, we, we, we enjoyed doing what we was doing, you know what I'm saying? We enjoyed teaching this truth and knowledge, you know what I'm saying? You know? And we enjoyed 
talking amongst ourselves about this. You know what I'm saying? Because <laughs> we can't talk to nobody about this, man. We, we, you know, you can't talk to your dad or, or your mom or, or, or well, gonna vice you, versa. They're going to give you a blank look. Like I was telling my, my aunt about like where you go when you die and, uh, you know, about the hell doctrine mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. about putting curses on people. Like she said, she was saying cuss, cuss words is a sin. I'm saying, I was like, it's not a strong language, but like, mm -hmm. you can actually put curses on people. And um, I was telling about the, you know, Cedric Borgia, all the, when Jake, you, Jake will ask all them questions and you'll be talking to him for 30 minutes to an hour. And then this woman gonna say, um, nah, she was like, um, about this this one wicked Issachar right who stole all the stuff you know off my dad's vehicle and I was like that's someone you would put a curse on you should put a curse on him and she was like no nah, I don't want to go to hell and I just told her about the hell doctor you know stuff like that you Jake. know and you, you, you know and, 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 you, and, and you know you want to say prove it you know the scriptures say prove all things where in the scriptures does it say that you know and a lot of times Jake think he knows the scriptures, man. It's actually like uh my demon here a while the other day she gonna tell me I know the Bible. I was raised in the church, woo 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 this, woo 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 that. And I'm like, well if he was raised in the, you know, I'm thinking of myself, I didn't want to go into it because sometimes you have a you, you understand that the you know, wisdom and knowledge wasn't given unto the woman, so it's no sense in, in, in talking to a little kid. Yeah, it's like, yeah, there you go. You know, so it's, it, it, you know, it's like basically talking to Esau, you know, because, you know, Esau, he don't know nothing about spiritual things. So, you know, it's like he, you, you just base, might as well just be talking to the wall, you know, you know. So I didn't, I didn't know I get by that. I just let her say what it was. She had to say and kept it moving because I know she don't know nothing about the Bible because, you know, anybody that's been in church has been deceived, you know. Ooh. been heavily deceived. Oh, you grab that next precept. Oh, the Jake playing volleyball, soccer today. Yeah. It's a car. Volleyball. I'll tell you what, this one, this is one of your favorites. You turn me on to uh, Matthew six and thirty three. But seek ye first the kingdom of God and His righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. All right, all these things shall be added unto you. You seek the kingdom and righteousness, and all right, that's the point of doing these works, mm -hmm. seeking. Seeking the kingdom of heaven. Alright? So that all these things will be added. So our reward, we're gonna get that. Everything we lacking on this side, we're gonna get it in the kingdom. Our our heart our heart's desires, we're gonna get it. Whatever you desire, ultimately we're gonna get it. And then some <laughs> it made me think of uh, the brother. I saw a video uh what is it? Uh, oh, it's a post where these women are uh, uh, basically glorifying uh, uh, men. Well, no, they were glorifying themselves. You know, like, I don't need a man, this, this, that, and other, you know. And uh, the, the, uh, the, the uh, beloved brother say, you know, you know, Eve, I'll catch you on the other side. <laughs> so, I mean, brothers that's in the spirit and this truth and knowledge, you, you get what I'm, you get it. Say it again, what it, Okay, there's a post that was saying that, that uh, it's a post that was that was saying, you know, if I don't need, I don't need a man. I choose to have a man. Basically, I don't have to have a man. I choose to have, you know, 
I don't need one if I don't have to have one, so to speak. <laughs> and uh, brother posted, I, I, uh, Eve, I'll catch you on the other side, you know? So, I mean, I thought that was very funny. Because, <laughs> I mean, side. yeah, I mean, basically, I did. Basically, he's saying, hey, okay, I deal with you on the other side, you know? So, we like to say, you know, maybe, and just say, for instance, you might have a woman that you was dealing with and being that she wasn't in the right state, you know? And, and a lot of times, like, uh, brother, our ties one, he told me a while back when we was talking, he said, you know, a lot of times the Lord will take these these people, you know, these these females that you was dealing with away to get you get to get you to get closer to him. And who knows, you know, maybe later on down the line, when you get on the other side, you may end up dealing with them again, you know, but they'll be in the righteousness, you know. So And uh that also mean uh, you know, women with that mind state ain't gonna make it. On this side. Well, yeah, yeah. But, but see, when that they'll be back, but, but they'll be back in righteousness on the other side. That, yeah. That's basically what he was saying, and that's why the uh, the beloved brother said in that post, you know, I'll catch you on the other side because he knows on the other side if he want her and he's one of the men of the Lord, he's gonna be able to have her, you know, because like the what was that you just said a while back, you'll get the desires of what you want. I, I, I know I'm missing, miss saying. Uh, I'm watching it up, desired. brother. <laughs> Help me out. <laughs> yeah, we're going to get our heart's desires. Whatever our, our mind desires, we're going to have it. Mm -hmm. We're going to have it. We're yeah. Have it. I, I, okay. I think this is the scripture he was quoting. Uh, uh, Jeremiah 16 and 3. But thus saith the Lord concerning the sons, concerning the daughters that are born in this place, and concerning their mothers that bear them and concerning their fathers that beget them in this land, this land, which is Babylon, they shall die of grievous death. They shall not be lamented, neither shall they be buried. See, all that time when Jacob's trouble happens, they're not going to be able to, you know, like now you have a funeral and, you know, you, 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 have, you, you have a gathering after the funeral, you know, and people go and buy a bunch of chicken <laughs> you know they go to bushes or churches and all these other places and maybe cater some food over there you know other people may cook food and bring it over there. all that stuff is going to be out the window once these people we, you know when, when, when jacob's trouble hit we, we we be stepping over bodies you know trying to get you know get to wherever it is we're going man because there won't be no time to lament over them man Why you know funky too exactly thank you Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Hey, you <laughs> you might not even want to kick it. You just step over and keep moving. Yeah. <laughs> Remember um, how we was going into how this park going to be full of freaking yeah. tall ass grass, yeah. high as the trees. We may be walking through this park and may see somebody taking a crap. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> you know, we joke about that too. You know, but I mean, and, and they, you know, they probably ain't going to feel no shame. I mean, there's no, there's no toilet. You know, we just. Look at them and keep it moving, you know. Hey, what you looking at, nigga? You know, well, that could happen too, but I mean, you know, it, but it, it ain't, you know, there ain't gonna be no toilets, so they, they're not, you know, if you gotta go, you gonna go, and you know. They, hey, hey, smoke it back here, taking the shit. Yeah, yeah, hey. you know, it ain't gonna be, you know what? Now, in this time, yeah, you you see somebody doing that now, you, hey, man, you gonna go to jail? They're gonna, you know, call you out for indecent exposure. You're going to be on Facebook and they're going to show your mug shot, you know, yeah, oh man, he, he took a crap in the, in the, in the park. But see, when all that, when that lawlessness, when Jacob's trouble hit and, and, and all the stuff, 911's out the window and all that, ain't going to be, ain't be nothing to see somebody, you know, the, 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 the wickedness that you, you think you see now ain't going to, man, it's going to be so much worse. And, you know, uh, I want to say, we the, this, the park gonna be so untethered, you know, and unkept. The grass gonna be so tall, taller than the trees. We probably won't even recognize where we were standing at. No. Hey, good point, bro. Good point. Yeah. If we come across it. Yeah. Okay. Um. Let me go. Verse four. They shall die a grievous death. They shall not be lamented. Neither shall they be buried. Yeah. But they shall be as dumb 
upon the face of the earth and they shall be consumed by the sword and by famine and their carcasses which is their bodies shall be meat for the fowls of heaven and for the beast of the earth for thus saith the lord enter not in the house of mourning neither go or lament nor bemoan them for i have taken away my peace from this people saith the lord even loving kindness and mercies yeah so all that's gonna be out the door man all that grieving and yeah, that is another reason why we need to uh, have a, a thick skin for these things that about to come up. Man. Man, you know? It's gonna be gruesome deaths. Man. Yeah, you, we you may we may witness some gruesome deaths. We, you know, like like we may be me and you may be walking, man. Who knows? Me, maybe it may happen when me and you and Debaka together. We might have did a, 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 a video, and then all of a sudden after we we together and you know. We may see a whole lot of wild stuff, to, you know, like, you know. Uh, Jake getting their head cut off. Yeah. Uh, 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 you know, ravaging, you know. A lot of that stuff going on, man. You know what I'm saying? And we got to keep moving. Keep it moving. Is that Washington kept moving? Yeah, and that made me think about the Book of Eli. Captain. Yeah. He didn't stop and be a captain saver. Yeah, like, no. He said, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we, hey, you know. It's 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 all it's all about survival, and we're not supposed to be bold none of these people, man. Not, not even our own flesh and blood, which is our our, uh, our immediate family, man. When they when they die, hey, it is what it is, man. And the Lord, in so many in so many ways, is preparing us. You know, this is like that Jake that just that just died the other day, well, yesterday, I mean, last night. I mean, night before last, he got killed over there at, at uh by Nymphus. I don't know if you heard about it, but they said it's the first homicide of the year. Come to find out, I used to play basketball with that dude, man. 41 years old. Yeah, I used to play basketball against him and his uh his stepfather. You know, uh, uh God know. He called me uh earlier this afternoon and told me it was, you know, the guy got, you know, who he was. And I was like, oh man, damn, you know. So, so many ways the Lord is preparing us for this death, man. You know, that's kind of hit home because I know that guy, you know. So, you know, it's happening in so many subtle ways. A lot of a lot of people that, that have, you know, been in our lives or been around our lives or whatever, these people are dying. So how much more when Jacob's trouble happened, man? So, so many ways the Lord is, is preparing us, thickening up our skin to... to, to to deal with those things, with those losses, you know? Gotta have thick skin. Yeah. Yeah, you know, and it's funny, uh, Elder, Elder Martha Zogbach was bringing that out the other day, you know? So, yeah, man, we gotta, you know, the Lord is preparing us, man. He, he's putting that thick skin on us, man, you know? Sticking in our skin, you know, we we're gonna be on that point to where a lot of time we'll we'll be laughing at, at these people who make fun of us or who said things, and we we're gonna have that spirit. The Lord gonna put that spirit on us to laugh at them, at their folly. It's like the Lord is gonna be laughing at them. You know, He's gonna put that same spirit on His elect. You know, Lord willing, we those men. You know, yeah. I remember an elder apostle of Ramlaw bringing that out, you know? So, yeah, man, you know, we, right now we don't have that spirit right now. You know, we see something like, ooh, man, that's messed up, ooh, ooh, you know? It's like, uh, I saw a video the other day, and I think I posted, put it on the a chat, and it was this uh, Edomite uh, policeman, and I guess it was another Edomite, and I guess he was giving a ticket, and they were sitting there talking, and all of a sudden, out of nowhere, this car came. Oh, yeah. You saw that? Okay. Yeah. Didn't it hit him? Yeah. Hit both of them, bro. I mean, it just knocked them out. Like, what the? And you think GTA 5 is uh, something, just a video game, but you run people over and their bodies just. Yeah. Hey, that's real. Yeah, man. That, but that was something. Like a video. Yeah. Yeah, bro. You know, but the Lord, in so many ways, 
videos like that, it's kind of, I, 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 I just feel like in the spirit, the Lord is preparing us watching videos like that. But back in the day, you wouldn't see nothing like that, man. 15, 20 years ago, you wouldn't see nothing like that. You'd heard about things like that, you know, not saying that those things didn't happen, but to see it on video, that's the Lord preparing us, man. Sheesh. Yeah, Lord is preparing us to, to get that thick skin, man. You know, seeing uh, people limbs get cut off. Yeah, yeah. Set on fire, electrocuted. Yeah. Uh, like that 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 uh dude we not too long ago. I I don't know which which brother put it on the chat, but uh, guy fell off the building. You saw that video, did? Yeah. Yeah, man. This. Is, and, and I think his head came off. <laughs> so, he fell on the middle line, in it? Yeah, something like that, bro. I mean, forgot how it, exactly how it went down, man. But I was like, whoa. I looked at it about two or three times. Back in the day, I probably was like, looked at it one time. I was like, oh, I can't look at it no more. But I looked at it two or three times. Like, hey, the Lord is preparing me for the, for the worst to come. You know? It would be nothing common to see that stuff during Jacob's trouble, man. Because it's going to be a lot of death out here, man. That's why we, we're praying that, that the Lord protects us, man, because when he brings his wrath from the left-hand side, we want to be hid from all that, man. We want to be hid from that, bro. We do not want, want that. No, no. Get the uh, next piece up on it. How long we been going? Uh, just went over an hour, hour and a six. Get a few more. Okay. Death and destruction is coming to America. Judgment. Yeah. Oh. Uh, well, I'll tell you what, let's, let's, let's do this is kind of the one that you was telling me about earlier. I did a video on this one. When doing that time, uh, Matthew 24 and 9 kind of bring back what you was talking about earlier then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted and shall kill you and ye shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake that's where we want to be you know and then shall many be offended and shall betray one another and shall hate one another we brought that up earlier that's shall rise and shall deceive many. You, you got the guy from R R C C. I, I did a video here on on, on that guy. This R O C C. R R R O R O C R O C or R O C C something. Uh, it's called Robes of Robes of, of, of Christ, I think. Something I don't, I forgot what it is. Oh no no R O I. That's it R O I. That, that's what uh rapper base of I, Israel <laughs> you know that hey, you saw what I wrote <laughs> in the chat I had eyeball rolling on that one it, 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 they're call, they call themselves rogues of Israel <laughs> but I was saying rapper base of Israel and, and I had eyeball cracking up on that one but <laughs> but but he represents these these pro, false prophets brother you know what I'm saying him you got T.D. Jakes you got uh I got another video I need to do on false prophets and pastors. And so, Joe Olstein. Well, he's, he's on one the of them. And, <laughs> but but the one I was thinking about was was, was Gino, Pastor Gino Jennings. You know, Ooh, he don't want to. Um, I had a video, and I think I accidentally erased it about about him calling on uh, uh, the woman asked him about the. Uh, I hate to say the name, but it's edification. Yeah, J C. Uh, and she, he was trying to say that the name of the son was JC, and she was trying to ask, you know, who it was or whatever. Lord willing, she'll find out if the Lord is dealing with her, or what have you. You know, she, maybe she'll find a man of the Lord if she's got a sincere heart to find out the true name. But, but, you know, think, but uh, at the end of the day, just I have to see how that plays out. But he was insisting that it was JC. What have you, you know what I'm saying? But 
he's a false prep. He he can be viewed as a false pastor, you know, a false prophet because he's he, he's you know he's deceiving me by saying that name, man. Just like uh, reprobates of, of uh, Israel, <laughs> you know, telling you everybody they can eat pork, you know. You oh got uh, IUIC talking talking about the hell doctrine. Yeah, I mean, they don't believe in the nukes. Really, what the heck? Yeah, you, you got uh, Sakari talking about the Apostle Paul, you know, not, not, uh, they don't expect, they don't accept the teachings of the Apostle Paul. Come on, man. You know, and, and I've been reading in 2 Corinthians, you know, and everything he's saying, you know, Yahweh Shah said pretty much the same things, you know what I'm saying? You know, so, <laughs> and the thing about Paul, Paul was basically, you know, he, he was basically taught by the disciples, but he, he had a, a, the spirit of Yahweh Shah was on him too, you know, saying to, to uh, learn these things, you know, so he could be out here and, 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 and you know, preach to all those, those different uh, uh, Gentiles, you know, I believe Paul was able to speak several different languages, yeah. you know. So, you know, now you here you are sitting up here talking about that we can't follow his teachings. Well, I ain't gonna say us, but he he's saying that, that those teachings are not valid, which is you know total BS, man. Right. The Lord said, Paul said he was sent. Yeah. And because iniquity shall abound, verse twelve. The love of many shall wax cold. In so many ways, we're seeing that now, but even more so once, uh, you know, uh, uh, once Jacob's trouble hit, you're gonna really see see the waxing of, you know, the uh, love of many wax cold. But verse 13, but he that shall endure until the end, the same, same shall be saved. All right, and that's what we're doing. We're it's about finishing the race, mm -hmm. enduring it to the very end. Yeah. You know, God's been in this thing 15 plus years and fall out, mm -hmm. fall out. That's you know? very scary, bro. You, know, you get all that, you get all that truth and knowledge, man, and then all of a sudden you you go back into the world. You know what I'm saying? That, that's very scary, man. And about that, Paul. This is First Corinthians one and one. Paul called to be an apostle of Yahweh Shahamashiach through the will of the Most High. Hmm. Uh, you hit it right on the nail with that scripture right there. Yeah. Yeah, you hit it right on the nail. finish with verse 14 here in um, Matthew 24 verse 14 and this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations and then shall the end come yeah so you know beginning with uh, the brothers the elder apostles at, at GMS you know they have set the standard through the spirit of Yahweh Bashir, Yahweh Shah, and, and and this 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 you know this truth has has gone all around the world, man. You got a uh, GMS Holland, you know. You you got uh, you got other affiliates, you know, such as Prophets in Babylon, which me and you are affiliated with. You got the brothers from Men of Valor, you know. Uh, uh, before our mouth, before our mouth. Okay, see that's a new one. I didn't know about them. Well, he was he's in uh, Men of Valor. I don't know if he's still in it, but yeah, he, he makes really edifying videos. Yeah, I mean and the thing about it, brother. I mean it, it, it it's not being so much as being a part of the a camp, even though it, 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 it's great. 
It's just, you keep doing the work, man. I mean, you know, if you break off whatever, you keep doing the work. Stay stay within the parameters of the doctrine, man. And I'm, I'm going to finish up with Paul. This okay. is Romans 9 and 1. So Paul was truly sent by Yahweh Shai, and he was sent to get those churches in order. So everything mm. he was saying was valid. This is Romans 9 and 1. I say the truth in Hamashiach, I lie not. My conscience also bearing me witness in the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. So, Paul, oh, that was, that was, he was very heavy. Mm -hmm. You know, he was yeah, in the spirit. Yeah, yeah. You know, he was sick. <laughs> and that was, that's just, because Paul spoke on a lot of things that Jake wanted to continue to break and go off on. So, mm -hmm. you know, that's why they say, Paul, you're not supposed to listen to Paul. He just wanted the disciples. He wasn't Yahweh Shai. You know, Jake just want to keep on doing with it. Mm -hmm. You know, because what mm -hmm. Paul say, he, he say how the woman supposed to be in order. Mm -hmm. How she supposed to be a help me, a servant, and to her man. He spoke on the order of a household, how it's supposed to be. You know, Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, man, woman, children. He say, First um, Corinthians 11 chapter, how a man not supposed to have that long ass feminine hair. No. Yeah. Man have a long hair, it's a feminine trait. Hey, hey, and that's, know, and okay, I, as far as that woman that was in Walmart, that's another thing my dad said was weird. He said, she said a man not supposed to have long hair. He's like, men can have long hair, that's in the Bible. I'm like, no, it's not. The only man that had long hair was Samson, yeah. and that's a different story because yeah. he was a like, yeah. Nazareth. Yeah. yeah. But like men having long ass hair, especially them dreads, that's uh mm -hmm. First and foremost, that's an effeminate trait because if you were to stand like 20 feet in front of somebody, you'll, especially if your hair long and straight, you're not, that that man that's behind you, he gonna think you're a woman. Exactly. And that happened to me before. Yeah. You know? Oh, vice versa. <laughs> yeah, and that, caught, that was caught on camera. This guy, he had brought his, his guy friend to a bar and they was chilling, mm -hmm. and having drinks. And then, the guy, his, his shit. Yeah. The, um, the friend, he was sitting on a stool and his back was faced uh, against the door because he was looking at his friend and they was drinking, talking about whatever. And the dude girlfriend came in because she thought he was in a bar with another female because she saw the long ass hair. So she came up behind the, the guy friend and snatched it. And he turned around and she saw uh you no know, another man, nigga had a beard and everything. So and he like was like, what the hell, who is this? You know? Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. that that's a one reason why men are supposed to have long hair, because yeah. it's a feminine trait. Cause especially if you're fighting, the first thing that your opponent gonna do is pull your hair. Exactly. And you see guys with these dreadlocks and got long hair. When they finna get into a fight, first thing they do, they'll grab a rubber band and start tying it up. Mm -hmm. And that looks mm -hmm. effeminate in itself. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A man tying his hair up before he fight, that looks yeah. effeminate yeah. in itself. Yeah. And second, the, the glory of a woman is her hair. That's a woman's glory, not a man, you know? That's why men not supposed to have long hair. It's an effeminate trait, plus it's the woman's glory. Yeah. A man yeah. supposed to have beards. You know, you can grow your beard down to the ground. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, that, that's just an example because that's that's why they say if the if the gospel be hid, that's why El Apostle to hard brought that out. If, if the gospel be hid, it's to those who who are, who are blinded. It's not for them. I'm, I probably botched the scripture, but what I'm trying to say is that not everybody's going to be able to get this, man. Not every Jake is going to get it. It's, it's, on, it's only for certain people. You know, we've been chosen to do this work. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time. We have to endure to the end, and that's what we're praying that, that, that the Lord, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah, will, will let us endure to the end, man. You know? And you're one of the old batch of men that's meant to get the truth. Yeah. You know? Uh, uh, 
And to further back you up with, with Paul, this is a scripture, you know, and I know you appreciate this scripture as well as the Illinois Apostles. Hey, make sure it's still recording. We're still going. All right, go ahead. 2 Timothy 2 and 10. Therefore, I endure all things for the elect's sake, sakes, that they may also obtain the salvation which is in Hamashiach, Yahweh Shah, with eternal glory. So, I mean, you know, just to further back, you know, just to further back you up in the scriptures, bro, it, it, you know, this, you know, it's all about the elect, man. That validates exactly what you said about your dad couldn't get it. My dad and them, they can't get it either. My mom, she can't get it, you know. So, I realized, like, when I first got in it, I was telling people, you know, hey, man, you know, this was like, ooh, you know, because I was excited. They think, yo, that's crazy. Like, who is this yeah. dude total? So you know, I had to realize, you know, it's like, you, you know, the scriptures say, you know, don't cast your, your pearls to swine. And that's basically swine, man, because they ain't going to get it. You got you know? the other one about the old bottles. Um, old bottles. Get that. Yeah. The old bottles. Yeah. Yeah. I got to do a video on that one, too. Matthew 9 and 17. Neither do men put new wine into old bottles, okay. else the bottles break. So these old jakes, that's like, they grew up, you know, in your time. Mm -hmm. Majority mm -hmm. of them not meant to get it. That's mm -hmm. ultimately mm -hmm. Lord dealing with younger men. Yeah. But you got old older jakes that's coming in. Yeah. You know, you example. Hey, brother, and I'll tell you what, to put, just to put me to shame, there's brothers <laughs> that, are, that are older. <laughs> that, yeah, there's some brothers that are older not to, to have them. I uh, proof of that because I heard I listened to a video by Elder Apostle uh, Aramla, and he said it. He said, "Man, we got some brothers that's in this thing that that that, that, that they're in their seventies. They're old. So Elder Apostle Aramla, he's somewhere between the late fifties to early sixties. I don't know if he's quite sixty just yet. And Elder Apostle Tahar, we know he's in his sixties. You know, he's he's somewhere into his early to mid sixties. So." How much more? You know, and, and he brought it out. He said a lot of these brothers that these older brothers are very humble. You know, have a humble like spirit. You know, I'm like, wow, that's that, that it has to be the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah to, 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 to that happen because a lot of times those in that mindset, man, they they they, they stuck in their ways. They're not willing to change, you know, because they they, they think they don't like because they know? old. They, yeah, well, that that too, you know, set old, set in their ways, and they're not going to change, you know. But it's but it shows you the power of Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shah. He can, he can, you know, if it's meant for you to get it, you're going to get it because he wants you to get it, not for everybody, man. All right, and run it out, and the bottles perish. So, majority of the times, he's older than Chase, not going to get it because, you know, it's new to him. Mm -hmm. You know, they stuck in their old ways. You yeah. can't teach your old dog new tricks. Yeah. You pour a new wine in an old ass wine bottle, that shit's gonna break. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but they put new wine into new bottles mm -hmm. and both are preserved. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's a, uh, you know, it's a blessing to, to have this truth and knowledge, you know. No matter, you know, but hey, you, you even got guys young, they ain't gonna get it, you know. You know, you, you know, as well as older men. So if it's not meant for you, hey, it's just not meant for you. you know? God, <laughs> that funny. It really is. I mean, you know, but 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 all the more to be thankful that that you know, brothers like yourself, as as well as me and, and, and elder pastor to all. Those brothers on down, brothers, the brothers that we're affiliated with, the prophets of Babylon, men of valor. What's the other group that you call that? I thought you called out another group. I, I, it, but, you know, all those who are affiliated, you know, under this doctrine and, and, and speaking the truth of your how about Shem, how about you know, it, it's a blessing to have this truth and knowledge, man. You know, because a lot of these people out here, they're gonna have a lot of regret on their mind, you know, and they're gonna be, it's gonna be a real fearful time, man. Uh, you got any more pieces? Um, I'm, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs>